Welcome to Family Product Reviews. If you are new here support us by subscribing. Today we will be reviewing the Self Tanner with Organic Natural Ingredients Tanning Lotion Sunless Tanning Lotion for Flawless Darker Bronze or Skin Self Tanning Lotion, Self Tanner's Best Sellers Fake Tan. Great color but the lotion is white and thick so it's hard to see how well the coverage is being applied. Don't get me wrong dihydroxyacetone the ingredient which develops melanin or the color in your skin is probably not the safest ingredient around. But almost every other brand of Self Tanner has a list of ingredients you can't pronounce that are artificial and toxic to the body. Color lasted for over a week 4th application for maintenance remains to be a medium gallon color. So worth it considering the cost to lay in a tanning bed month after month risking skin cancer. Considering it lasts me so long probably almost two summers worth then it breaks down to a pretty good deal. It's not one of those thick products that feels like it clogs your pores and makes you feel uncomfortable or sweaty. Then you get the color that you want it is a natural looking tan not orange like many other products. The initial smell is great but after after a few hours it's definitely a noticeable tanning smell. This is how you can see where you applied it and add more or rub around for a more even coat if needed. You want to apply it at night and then wait to shower until the morning or later the next day. If you really want a perfect looking tan you can also get an applicator mitt you can apply the lotion on with to make sure you get the most even and nature looking results. The main thing with this tanner and all other tanners is to exfoliate before application. It does tend to fade patchy mostly on the chest but at this point comes off easily with with exfoliation. The only downside is that you can't see the color right away takes a few hours to develop but unless you need a tan stat it's not much of a con. It's not a greasy lotion it applies like sunscreen and needs to be rubbed in and allowed to dry. There is always that sunless tanning lotion smell but this one is very very mild. This is also why it is important to pay attention to joints that stick out like knees elbows and knuckles. However it does involve having someone else or not if you a stretchy yoga person buff that area of your back that is hard to reach if you want to be sure about controlling streaking. Be sure to apply to the whole tops of your feet even in between your toes. This stuff can definitely come off on your clothes sometimes the day you apply it. It does take a lot of rubbing before it's absorbed into the skin but the results are amazing. The tanner is thick so you really have to rub it in which ensures you don't leave streaks behind. Squirt a small marble sized amount of tanner on your mitt and apply in circular strokes. So overall this is great if you're going to keep up regularly with application or if you only want to tan for a brief event and don't mind it disappearing right after. This is the first product that gives me the look of spending a day in the sun. They also have tiny mitts that go over your fingers to make face application even and easy. You can even apply regular lotion to knees, elbow, feet and hands to help the product apply more evenly in those areas of loose skin. This product is easy to apply and doesn't take a lot of extra time to get an easy nice looking tan. The smell does not smell of chemicals but it isn't the best smell either definitely tolerable though. This one does have a coconut scent which does does help in masking some of it though. It smells way less than other self tanners that smell once it develops is there but much less than other brands. It looks natural doesn't have much of an odor and it goes on smooth. It helps spread the lotions evenly and keeps the color off the palms of your hands. This product is perfect if you have a special event and want a quick natural sun kissed look. It dries fairly quickly but you'll feel a slight stickiness for about an hour or so afterward. The product going on didn't really have a self tanner smell and dried very quickly. The only issue is is that it takes about six hours to fully darken and it's white so it's hard to see how it's rubbing in. Be careful around the ankles and feet try and spread it as even as possible and don't be disheartened if it doesn't look perfect the first time it takes a handful of times to get good at doing it. The bottle is larger than expected and had a tiny bit of texture to it when helps with handling while applying. The color is natural and since it's white you can expect to make a few mistakes your first time it's spread very easy. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe and leave your comments below.